Okay, this um, this is not a this is not an answer to a question, but I was just thinking about some of the regrets um, that I have in, from from attending a D1 uh, collegiate university. Right, some of the ways that I could have um, been smarter with my time or energy. So the first thing that just comes to mind, um, we had a our we had a um, our men's our the men's URI track team, right? University of Rhode Island track team had a great track record of success, right, in indoor and outdoor events. So one regret is I should have. I should have went to their coach or their assistant coach. I'm filming, but what's up? What? Which one looks good? Oh Lord. Uh, give me that friggin' Give me that freaking hand cut ribeye. Which size? 20 ounce. 20 ounce hand cut ribeye? Yep, medium rare, please. Right, so I should have just asked a, the one of the co head coach of the soccer team, I mean, I'm sorry, of the track team or the assistant coach, you know, either resources, either resources to improve my, my running technique right they have all these kids who are super fast who they train every day so i could have asked for uh tips on books or tips or or resources um on running technique or sprint training or endurance training right because soccer incorporates all those and i'm already a part of the collegiate program it would be I would be so surprised if they wouldn't give me any resources you know if I was a if if you're a college coach and you know this your sister program or like if if anyone's asking and genuinely asking for your expertise there'd be very few reasons why you you wouldn't want to give it to them so I think that's one way that I didn't take advantage of being a part of a community a college community and I think I think th any of the coaches would have been happy to point me in any directions where I could have improved my my soccer training. Um, at URI, there are so many different um, gyms, right? There was gyms in different areas of campus where I could have, I, I didn't, one, one regret is not developing a personal a uh, in-season routine and an out-of-season routine where I could wake up and beeline to um, beeline to the cafeteria or beeline to um, a gym, the closest gym, and do some essential things that would have helped me grow my game. So some pre-seasons, or I'm sorry, some of the spring seasons, we had regimented workouts where we were waking up at, uh, you know, six in the morning, seven in the morning to do, to do workouts. But I never took the time to say, okay, what are the most important things that I could work on if I only had 15, 20, 30 minutes to get my day going and use those as a springboard to kind of electrify my, my day, get out of bed and and kind of be focused on the goal of um, let's protect let's protect my body through you know strengthening your muscles and your tendons and ligaments and you know really um, preventing any injuries and just growing my skills. So it's only in the past six months right i've been playing soccer for the past 27 years only in the past six months have i really started thinking about personal uh a personal practice routine and what does that look like if you only had an hour a day and the book that really um clarified my thinking i guess two books were first uh, the book by james clear atomic habits and the second effortless by uh greg McEwen. McEwen, I believe. 
So I think that's something that you, you, you don't have to be in college to think about, even if you're in high school, right? If you're in, right, even as young as middle school, high school, college, what does your, what are, what are some things that you could do every single day that, that are gonna help you, right? You wanna have more energy after your workout. You wanna be, feel like you're ready to attack, to attack the day Right, exercise is so important. Even just a few minutes a day can really um, encourage just a good mindset and to get you going. So that would be my second regret, not developing uh, um, a personal training routine in college or in high school. Um, and the flip side, I never had a vision. I never took the time to think or have the vision for what my nighttime routine looks like, right? Your nighttime turns your nighttime routine turns into your daytime routine, right? And vice versa. It, it keeps it going, right? It's like a it's like a circle. And you know, these days, right, I listen to this guy talking about how just a warm shower or a warm bath can set your set your sleep. You set your sleep up for the most for the most ideal in the most ideal way. So, right, Charles Poliquin was talking about prisoners in jail who, no ma even if they have poor sleep and they have poor diet, right, prison food, you think, okay, not that good. You think their roommate might, might wanna kill them. So worried about maybe not sleeping so good, but all their bodies are, you know, think about, you look at some prison bodies, they're all unreal, right? They have crazy physiques. So you think, okay, training might be the most, how you train is the thing that really matters the most, that can really make or break you. But I think if you can set your up for some good sleep, something as easy as having a warm bath or a warm shower before bed can really encourage great sleep, which can lead to great performance. So um, that's, that's the third thing, not thinking about a, a, a pre a pre sleep a pre sleep routine. So those are some things that I just had in my mind, want to share. So um, she didn't say. Reach out, reach out with any questions, and uh, thank you for your time. All right.